Again, we're trying to determine which person would you rather be in this example I'm gonna show, couple A or couple B. And the reason I'm using a million dollars is because of this article, Aaron, if you'll put this up full screen, this was a dandy. It says, workers fear they may not save the one million dollars they need for a comfortable retirement. I guess my question is, who says you need a million dollars for a comfortable retirement? Which, I guess if you lived in Manhattan, New York, that probably is a pretty accurate statement. But what about the average person I meet with in Kentucky and Indiana? Do these folks, most of them have millions of dollars lying around in a 401k to live off of? Well, certainly some people I meet have a million dollars or more in retirement accounts, but listen, most people do not. So let's look at why the financial world is saying this and why I needed to cover this. I mean, where did this million dollar figure come from? And of course, it came from the financial world. Again, what the financial world's approach is, is they would rather work with people with a lot of money and they would rather make sure that people don't spend this money. You see, in our industry, including yours truly, especially under our Charles Schwab platform, where we get an annual recurring fee to manage your money, the more money you leave with the financial world and the less you spend and enjoy of it, well, the more they make. And the problem is the way they get you to leave that money with them is generally through fear. Fear of going into a nursing home one day, fear of inflation eating away at the dollar bill, fear of living too long, and fear of not leaving anything to your family and loved ones when you pass away. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a stark comparison and contrast here. We're gonna imagine couple A is kinda, of, we'll just call it, this is the financial world, okay? This is their approach, what I'm about to show you. Why they think you need this million dollars to comfortably retire. And we're gonna assume that person or couple B, and we'll just call this the live well, die broke philosophy of Tony Walker Financial, okay, that same couple comes to me and they too have a million dollars to invest. So where all this begins to change between Tony Walker Financial with the live well, die broke philosophy, which again in my book I cover this, it simply means you can't take it with you and also exposes the fact that over the years I've been doing retirement planning so long, folks. Again, we have almost 3,000 clients that are in the 70-year-old range, anywhere from 60 to 80. So I see this play out every day and most of these folks, here's the mistake they make, they wait way too long to spend and enjoy their money. So what is the difference between our approach and the financial world that basically says, no, 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 don't you spend this money because someday, one day, whenever that day is, you might just need it. So let's imagine what is it they kind of go by. Well, the old rule of thumb they go by is something called the 4% rule. Now this rule on the surface does make some sense. In other words, if you have a million dollars, depending on your investments, you can take out 4% a year. So let's just say it kind of flatlines. That means you could take out $40,000 a year. And assuming the accounts just keep growing, which there may or not, may not if you're taking out $40,000 a year, but as the accounts keep growing, you keep taking out the 4% and that's the way you keep up with inflation and your principal of a million dollars is protected. But put this graph up here. Now, this is one of my favorite graphics. But what if the market tanks like it did back in 08 or like it did a couple of years ago and you're drawing money out? Look how much that account could drop. So, of course, this shows $300,000 a year, but the numbers still shake out just the same. In other words, if the market is going down and you're taking out 4% when it goes down under the 4% rule, you actually are going to take less. Let's say this thing does crash and it's down to $700,000. Well, if you're only taking out 4%, that's only $28,000 a year, meaning you just took a haircut in your income, which makes no sense whatsoever. But what do we do at Tony Walker Financial? Through our proprietary split IRA concept, CS stands for Charles Schwab, and ANN stands for annuities, which we can do multiple annuities here. But what we do is we're gonna divide that million dollars up, and we want to spend and enjoy this money during what we call halftime, or at least in the first part of what we call the second half of life, which usually begins around age 70. Because let's face it, folks, and again, I've seen this play out many times, this age range of around 60 to about 73, 75 is when most savers can thoroughly enjoy this money. So we intentionally, in this case, we don't care. We're gonna pour out 40 to maybe 50,000. Why not 50,000? 
And we intentionally want this bucket to be used and enjoyed during this period of time, which that bucket could potentially be drained in a, let's say a five to 15 year period of time, just depending on how we set up the game plan. In fact, Aaron put up full screen our game plan. This is what we do to monitor your progress. Folks, this is a retirement planning game plan. This is not a retirement calculator or spreadsheet. You can't rely on those because changes will come and different things will come up during retirement. And that's why you need a trained retirement specialist with this proprietary software to monitor your progress. But then as people move through the second half of life, an annuity or possibly several annuities, depending on what we're gonna do, that's when we'll kick in, that's right, the trademark concept we use called mailbox money. So what is the mailbox money? Well, again, as I see people's lives play out, as you get into those later years, as you grow a little older, we're gonna make sure that you receive an income guaranteed for the rest of your life. So maybe we've used half of that money up, the $500,000 has been gone, you've spent and enjoyed it, the other annuity's been growing all this time, and then we kick in income. I'm just using numbers here just to give you an example. And what the insurance company issuing that annuity says, okay, when we start income, that particular annuity on a guaranteed basis, guaranteed, will pay you $40,000 a year for the rest of your life. Now that's the rest of your life. So even if you live to age 90 or 95 or 100, you cannot run out of money, something that the financial world without these annuities cannot guarantee. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like, check out these other clips and be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button for more videos.